The Dharma School, based a few miles outside of Brighton, is the only Buddhist primary school in the UK and has been in existence for five years. Clear Vision visited the Dharma School on the last day of the school year. Robert Wilson is a commercial solicitor involved as a Mitra in Brighton. He became a member of the board of directors in the school's early years and his daughter is now a pupil there. What the school seeks to do is provide a national curriculum but with an emphasis on Buddhist ethics and I think children can understand ethics in terms of teaching them about Buddhism. I think ethics is really, as far as I can see, the door, the key way in. So that's a clear way where I think the school is different from other schools. Children do like a bit of colour as well, and we've found that they like the activities before the shrine. Um, they enjoy the incense, they enjoy the candles. I think the very youngest children, they, uh, if they can't have candles, they blow bubbles before the shrine. And that richer side is something which they enjoy, and we, we do have uh, uh, pujas where the children have an opportunity to participate in shrine room activities. Quite at what level they're taking it in, I'm not sure, but uh, uh, just just uh, enjoying the richness uh, and some of the more symbolic elements of Buddhism. They love it. Imagine yourself on a boat, not rocking much. The sea is very calm. It's very it's difficult to say what benefit my child gets from going to the Buddhist school. She's only ever been to a Buddhist school, but um, I think she's benefited from uh, the way we teach the basic precepts and, and laying emphasis on those very core principles. She has, a, a, I think, a firm understanding of those. Since being at the Dharma School, Ruth's really found that she enjoys school a lot more. I don't have the same trouble I used to have at getting her up in the mornings and going to school. I mean, she's not. Um, she's actually disappointed when it's holidays and sometimes you have difficulty getting her away from the school. Um, academically, she's doing really well. But also the school spends a lot of time uh, concentrating on the development of the child as a whole. Children are very impressionable at an early age and they have all sorts of influences and teachers play a very significant role in the way they think and the way they act into society and therefore it seems to me that Buddhist schools are tremendously important for uh, doing our best to ensure that children are equipped to deal with life. We make a mistake, okay we make a mistake as long as we try our best. I think one of the areas which I really enjoy being a, a director of the school is that there, that there are directors from many different traditions and that presents an opportunity to, to communicate with other traditions. It's quite a challenge. It's, initially I thought, well, it should be easy to communicate. It's not always so because people's understanding of very basic Buddhist terms differs. It's true at the moment, with the legislation being as it is, that a Buddhist school has to be fee-paying. And therefore, it will always be the case that some parents will have to be paying fees. But it's as well to remember that there are a lot of services which a school needs, and there's a lot of talent within the movement. And fees could be provided by way of uh, benefits and services. There's a good opportunity uh, for parents to get involved at the school, depending on the skills that they've got. Myself, I've taught yoga classes here. I also take the children out cross-country running, which they really love. Um, also, to help pay some of the fees, you can um, work around the school, like do the cleaning or lunch duties, things like that. And it's, it's really lovely when you get to the end of the term, there's lots of parents that have been involved throughout the uh, academic year. Right, sweet Hermia, your life and a yield. You have her father's love for me, yes? <laughs> Let me have Hermia's.
One of my visions as a director is that, that the Dharma School will be just first in many schools across the country. We have a lot of valuable experience now, which I know the Board of Directors would be very keen to impart to others thinking of starting up such a school. Uh, we can really impart a lot of knowledge. We've done things wrong in the past. We can help people make sure that they don't have to go through the same thing. It would give me great joy as a director when the next Buddhist primary school opens. <laughs>